Hi there and welcome. I'm on integratingtechnology.org with a dash in the middle to show the difference between another site that I own called Integrating Technology. Notice um, what you will see here. You will see courses available, which when I click on it, opens up a Google Doc right here so you can view it here and you don't have to go anywhere. That's the idea behind this learning management system called Moodle. Everything in the course keeps you in the course, keeps students in the course, and that's the idea. And I'll show you how that's done. Going to go into this particular course, develop an online Moodle course. Notice guests are not allowed. You need to apply for it. So let me go in as a user so you can see what that looks like. So here I am in the course and notice um, that there are two links here. Uh, this link opens up in a new window, but I wanted the link to open up straight here so you can go directly from here and you don't have to leave the site. So you can get all the information here. You can also open it up in full screen or of course the link is available there. I also added a Google Drive doc. In this case, it's Google Docs, but it could be slides or it could be an Excel sheet or a Google form. Let me show you how you can do that as a student because that's what I'm in as a student. So I'm going to go into orientation week that I can do right now. And you're encouraged to do that before the course begins. Notice uh, this form I can fill in directly from here, but I've already filled it in. But if you want to edit your response, you can do that. If you've taken courses with me before, you'll have the same form and it'll say just that. So you don't have to redo it. Notice there are two videos to watch here. I'm going to go into the support form because that's where I want to add and show you what that's like. All right, so I'm going to every discussion form. You start with adding your discussion and then you get what's called an editor. I'm going to go to the three dots so that I get the full editor. I'm going to give it a title and I'm going to call it Embed Sites. Okay, next I'm going to go into, now there are two ways, go into insert, scroll down until I get to Generico widgets, click on that. Then I've got this choice, either Google Edit or you can add a website. Okay, so let me add the link of the website that I would like to add go into insert and then it'll look like this and it might be kind of scary, but don't worry. You can post a form and you can make changes as long as you're here, All right? It's not going to go out for 30 minutes if you're not ready with it. So you can even delete it before that time. So you can try things out and notice this is what it will appear like. Okay. So it's right here and that's one example. Let's go into another example and we're going to add a Google doc. Are you ready for this? All right, here it goes. So I've got a Google Doc. I'm going to go into, I'll just reply to this. It doesn't really matter. But when I reply, notice that uh, there's no editor. So I need to go into advanced. This is really important. Go into advanced and then you can add things. I'll open it up, but I don't really have to because insert is right here. I'll scroll down until I get to generico. Click on generico. As I said, this is one way. Choose uh, this time it's Google. I can also give it a link name, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go straight with the link. Now I wanted to show you that you can go also go into here and it'll say generico widgets and then you'll be able to see the edit and it's the same process. So let's uh, post a form. I said you can make changes uh, within 30 minutes and there you will see the Google Doc and you can either download it, link it or view it in full screen, but it's right here. So no worries. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions about uh, embedding links or uh, Google Drive, Docs, Slides, Forms, or Excel Sheets. Thank you for watching.